Congratulations on the selection of the Chef's Choice 2000 sharpener. It incorporates advanced diamond abrasives and honing technology to produce the sharpest and most durable edges of any sharpener available today. By now, you should have opened the package of the Chef's Choice sharpener and laid out the various items in the box. You should have found the following items. The sharpener power unit, sharpening module, instruction booklet, diamond dressing tool, and spare knife edge guides. First, you should complete the assembly of the sharpener by inserting the sharpening module into the power unit. Simply insert the module into the guide rails like this. Then turn the motor switch on and quickly off. While the motor is still coasting, snap the module into position. Now you're ready to sharpen all your knives by the easiest, fastest, and most advanced sharpening system in the world, the Chef's Choice Model 2000. Before sharpening any knife, Make sure that the knife is clean. Accumulation of fat or grease on the sharpener's abrasives will reduce their effectiveness. Now, let's turn the sharpener on and begin. Notice that the sharpener has two stages. Stage one uses diamond abrasives for sharpening. Stage two hones and polishes the edge to razor sharpness. Stage two is also used for resharpening serrated knives. To sharpen straight edge knives, start with stage one by simply inserting the knife in the slot behind the plastic spring. You can start in either the right or left slot. Move the blade downward in the slot while slowly pulling it toward you until it contacts the rotating diamond disc. Make sure as you pull the knife down and forward through the slot that it is fully inserted and its edge rests lightly on the front edge stop plate. Apply only enough downward pressure to make contact with the front stop plate. Additional pressure is unnecessary and if applied will cause the knife edge to cut into the edge stop plate. Do not be concerned about resting the knife edge lightly on the edge stop plate. It was designed so that it will not damage the knife's edge. Slowly pull the knife through the slot. Each pull should take about four to six seconds for an eight inch knife. As you approach the tip of the knife, lift the handle slightly to follow the curve of the knife edge. Continue to rest the edge lightly on the front edge stop plate. It is very important to alternate slots after each pull. Whenever sharpening in stage one, proceed until a distinct and uniform burr is created on the edge along the entire blade length. A burr is a bent over edge created by the sharpening process that feels rough to your touch. Its presence is a confirmation that the sharpening in stage one is complete and the knife is ready to be honed in stage two. It is relatively easy to feel the burr by moving a finger across and away from, not along or into the edge. A word of caution, to avoid any danger of being cut, do not move the fingers along the length of or into the blade edge. Normally, two to three pairs of alternating pulls in stage one will be sufficient to create a burr, unless the knife is very dull or has been sharpened with a steel since the last sharpening with the Model 2000. In the latter case, more pairs of alternating pulls in stage one may be required to reform the edge facets and develop a burr. If you have difficulty creating a burr, pull the blade through the slots at a slower rate. Going slower is more helpful than many pulls. Do not apply added pressure on the knife. Once you've confirmed that a burr is formed along the entire edge length, continue to stage two. Move the knife into the slot downward and forward until it engages the honing disc. The knife edge should be gently seated on the edge stop plate as it is pulled toward you. Repeat this step on each side of stage two, alternating in the right and left slots for approximately three pairs of pulls. Slowly pull the knife through the slots. Each pull should take about four to eight seconds for an eight inch knife. Again, as in stage one, slightly lift the handle as you approach the tip area but continue to keep the edge in light contact with the edge stop plate. Generally, three alternating pairs of pulls are sufficient. If the knife is less than razor sharp, pull several more times, alternating in each slot of stage two. Your knife is now very sharp. After using the sharpened knife for an extended period of time, it should be resharpened. Normally, you can resharpen rapidly with three to five pairs of alternating pulls through stage two only. You will be able to resharpen many times just in stage two before having to use stage one again.
you'll find it easier and faster to use stage two for all resharpening than using a sharpening steel. Periodically, you'll find it necessary to return and resharpen in stage one, followed by stage two in order to develop the razor sharp edge. The Chef's Choice 2000 will significantly improve the performance of serrated knives by straightening, aligning, and honing the tips of the serrations. Three or four pairs of pulls alternating through the left and right slots in stage two should be sufficient. Caution, do not use stage one on serrated knives. Now you see how easy it is to keep all of your knives razor sharp all day, every day with the Chef's Choice Model 2000. But before we leave you, a few tips about maintaining the Chef's Choice 2000 sharpener. The sharpening module should be cleaned regularly. At least once a week, place the module in your dishwasher or clean it in the sink to keep it free of grease, fat, food, and bacteria. To remove the sharpening module, first make sure the motor switch is in the off position. Then, press the release button while pulling the sharpening module away from the motor housing. The sharpening module will remove easily. The sharpening module can be cleaned and sanitized in a dishwasher or in a sink. Regular cleaning of the module reduces the risk of bacterial cross-contamination and extends the life of the module. To put the module back, insert it into the guide rails, then turn the motor switch on and then quickly turn it off. While the motor is coasting, snap the module into place. If stage two honing wheels appear to be glazed over due to grease or other reasons, or if you believe these wheels are less aggressive, you can clean them with the diamond dresser supplied with your Model 2000 sharpener. This will restore the wheels to like new condition. To dress the wheels, turn on the sharpener. Insert the dresser between the plastic spring and against the knife guide, just as you would insert a knife for sharpening. Make contact with the honing wheel and pull dresser plate through like a knife. Pull twice through the right and left slots as shown, taking two to three seconds for each pull. Use this tool only in stage two. Never use it in stage one. We've only covered key topics in this video. For further important information, we recommend that you read and become familiar with your instruction manual. We hope you'll enjoy using the incredibly sharp knives from your Chef's Choice 2000 sharpener all day, every day. Congratulations on the selection of the Chef's Choice 2000 sharpener. It incorporates advanced diamond abrasives and honing technology to produce the sharpest and most durable edges of any sharpener available today. By now, you should have opened the package of the Chef's Choice Sharpener and laid out the various items in the box. You should have found the following